you set health goals for yourself, like maybe to lose 10 or 15 or 20 pounds, but then you have trouble following through with it, even if you know what to do, do you know that you need to make better choices for your health, but you struggle to implement them? Welcome to the Legendary Life Podcast, where it's all about taking control of your health, losing fat, transforming your body, and living the life you deserve with celebrity fitness trainer and longevity enthusiast, Ted Rice. I want to ask you, have you ever been in a situation where you felt the same way? You're like, it's hopeless, man. It's going bad, man. This isn't going well. It's not going to go well. Everything's just going the wrong direction. And I'm really trying here but nothing I'm doing is working. I'm overwhelmed. And then you made a switch. And then you're like, whoa, there's something about the feeling, the vibe. And I'm trying to put my finger on it, but it's so, and I'm going to share a few things with you because I'm hoping I can help you if you're feeling like you were in a situation I was in. Because I want you to know that situation that feels so hopeless, so desperate, so terrible, so like there's no way out of this. Oh my God, my life is over. Like that, the doom and gloom thinking, that's where I was going. And then poof, it all went away. I don't, I don't have it at all. I'm super excited now. All because I changed my environment. And uh, again, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to figure out with you right now what it was that made so much of a difference. Now, One thing is just the novelty. I changed environments and it's a new environment. But listen, I was in Vero Beach, Florida in a place, renting a place. And then I changed to Fort Pierce, Florida in a nicer, a bigger place that was nicer. The couches were great. 17 minute walk from the ocean, but it wasn't enough. It made me feel a little bit better, but it wasn't the solution to my problem that I was looking for. And if that's true, then what is it about this place? First of all, there's novelty, but it's not just that. One thing that I've learned that is part of my recipe for success is I need to make it super easy for me to do cardio. I'm a weightlifting guy. I like actually not even weightlifting that much. I like martial arts, but martial arts is hard on my body. I don't want to go and lift weights all the time. I'd rather do martial arts. But I find cardio kind of boring. But what I found is that even though it's boring, it gets me, if I do some in the morning, oh my gosh, it puts me on the next level. In fact, I've done 35 minutes of cardio today. I did 40 minutes of cardio yesterday. And here's the key distinction. I want you to think about your situation as I talk about this. But I was doing cardio in, in Fort Pierce, Florida, but I, had, I didn't have a gym with cardio machines and I have knee issues. So I would go and take a walk, but it wasn't challenging enough. I would go for a run, but then I'd feel my knees. And also it was brutally hot. So I had to run outside or walk outside and uh, and not even the heat. I can deal with the heat, but it was the sun on my skin that was just crushing, right? And I don't want to get skin cancer. I believe in sun exposure. I believe you should get some, but too much is not good. In fact, I got a little sunburn on my balding head, started having some peeling of my skin on my scalp, you know, the part that's being exposed for the first time in my life, really, right? So what I'm getting at is this. I had a sun exposure there. I had exercise, but it wasn't, I I figured out what I needed. I need to be in a place with cardio machines so I can make it super easy. I just go downstairs I walk on the treadmill, hop on the elliptical, do my time. But I'll ask you this. Are you making exercise easy for you? First of all, let me say this. This is a post that I made on social media this morning. I said, you may think that I'm exercising. I did a video, right? I was showing people, hey, you may think I'm exercising. And technically, you're correct. But what I'm really doing is setting myself up to win. Because I know part of my success routine is hitting some exercise every day, if I can, most days of the week, and specifically cardio, getting my sweat on, getting my heart rate up. I feel amazing when I do that. 
In fact, if you're more of a weightlifter and you're like, no, cardio isn't for me, but you're, you know, can't walk 10 flights of stairs without feeling like you're about to have a heart attack, experiment with upping your cardio. I'm not saying to do less weights, although do less weights if you're, if you can't fit the cardio in, in addition to your weightlifting, but fit that cardio in. I think you'll be surprised at how it'll shift your mood and help you psychologically. In fact, shout out to Jeff, who is uh, one of my best transformations ever. He's at 9% body fat. One of the things that he was asking, he's like, hey, I, I go for a run every morning or every day. I don't know if he does it in the morning or not, but I go for a run every day. Can I keep that in? I was like, hell yeah. If you're feeling good, if your joints are feeling good, if it's not excessive, and he only runs, I think, 20 or 30 minutes. So that's part of his success is that frequent exercise. Just 20 minutes, I think it was for him. And me too. I spent 35 minutes today, but you don't have to. But if you can spend 15 minutes, 20 minutes, just to get your heart rate up, it makes getting leaner so much easier. And it's not because you burn the calories, but you feel better psychologically. Which brings me to the next issue is one of the things I was struggling with in Florida was that I was emotionally eating. I knew what to do. I couldn't stop myself from doing it. I would be in the grocery store. I'm like, hmm, I'm going to buy these key lime pies or should I get the brownie brittle or should I get the Oreo cookies and cream ice cream? And I was like doing all this bargaining with myself like, oh, well, which one has the most amount of calories? I, I, uh, I mean, the least amount of calories for the entire serving. What's the smallest serving I could get? So on and so forth. But it was like, why do I feel like I need that? I don't know. I just did. But I switched environments over here. I went food shopping last night. I didn't have to use any willpower at all. In fact, I made another social media post that, was, that basically said, here's the fat loss hack that nobody talks about. The best fat loss hack that nobody talks about is create a life, uh, create a life that doesn't drive you to escape through overeating and alcohol consumption. I'll say that one more time. Create a life that doesn't drive you to overeating, to escape through overeating and alcohol consumption. Because so, so much of why we seek food out and why we seek alcohol out and drugs in general, just there's no calories in marijuana or opiates or cocaine, but why we seek drugs out is because we're trying to change our brain chemistry because we don't like the feelings that we have. We're trying to change our feelings. Why do we feel bad? And for most people, it's they don't like what they do at work. They don't have purpose or they have too much stress financially or they're in a relationship that isn't serving them or they're not getting sex in that relationship. And I'll even tell you, I've, I've shared this story before, but I'll share it again. Sex is one of those things. It's the way, it's like the ultimate way we connect with each other. And it's a big deal. And when that goes away, that's a big deal too. And I get the feeling, and sex is down, having sex is down for Americans, even at the younger ages, the older ages. And that was before COVID. COVID's obviously made things more complicated, meeting and social contact and all that, physical contact and all that. But I've had so many uh, women tell me, oh, my husband wants to have sex, but I don't want to because I don't like the way I look. I have so many women that have told me that. And it's like, he's stressed, your husband's stressed out because he's not getting laid. You're stressed out because you're not getting laid and you feel bad about your body. And I don't mean to single out women. It's just a story that came to my mind that I wanted to share because it's, I feel like it's so powerful here. And so the husband's stressed out, not, not getting laid. You're stressed out because you're not getting laid and you feel bad about your body. But since you feel bad, you don't, you can't bring yourself to do anything about it. And it's just like, go have the sex. You'll feel better. And probably a lot of your issues will resolve. You're like, oh gosh, now I've gotten laid and can think straight. Now I, now I feel just like I'm going to eat healthier just be, because I feel better. I'm going to go exercise because I feel better. My relationship is better. I've connected in a way I haven't connected, you know, 
for a while because of the kids, because of my own issues with my body, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm using that because how often do we, and, and it's just the sex is one thing, right? It's like, we feel like, oh, I can't do that thing that I want to do or no, that would really make me feel better because I need to do this other thing first. But I can't do this other thing because I feel bad. It's too much of a struggle. And what I'm telling you is do the things that make you feel good, that relieve stress, and a lot of your problems will work itself out. The point that I'm hoping you're taking away from this conversation is this. Number one, if you feel hopeless, stressed, overwhelmed, crushing like you can't think straight, Something in your life needs to change. You know you shouldn't be overeating and buying the key lime pie or the Oreo cookies and cream ice cream or the whatever you're buying like I was. It's a sign something's not right in your life. There's a reason why you're struggling so much. What is it? Is it your environment? Is your relationship? Are you not set up to win? And really, it comes down to that. So many people look at me like, how'd you get in such great shape? How did you, you know, build your successful business? I don't try to roll the boulder uphill. I try to roll it downhill, right? So many people, they're having a Sisyphusian, I don't know how to say it, like Sisyphus, the guy who pushed the boulder up the incline, right? Up the, the mountain. I don't want to do that. But most people, that's what they do. I want to make it easy. I don't have, you probably have more willpower than I do, but I have better awareness of what makes me succeed than a lot of people. And I take action on it to set myself up for it. In fact, I was only going to be here for one month, probably going to be here for two now. So I want you to think about if you're struggling, what are the things that you're doing from when you wake up in the morning to when you go to bed at night? Think about them. You can even write them down. Which habits are moving you towards where you want to go? Which habits are, are in congruence with who you want to be or who you believe yourself to be? And which habits are taking away from you achieving your goals? Which habits are out of congruence with who you believe to be? And then if you're struggling to take more actions in the positive area, what is stopping you there? Now, here's the thing. You may have to experiment. You may have to, you may have to experiment like I did. Took me a long time to figure out, ah, I, I need cardio in a gym in the building that I'm staying in. Or if I'm staying in a house, there needs to be a cardio machine there so I can use it. That will set me up to win. Another thing, sun exposure. I need a place that's sunny. I can't be in a dark, dismal place. Now, maybe you can. Maybe that's not part of your success routine, your success strategy to set you up to win every day. But figure out what is. Because each one of us has a recipe for success and it's different for every person. Now, some of the commonalities are the same. We all need social interaction. We all need exercise. We all need to eat uh, more healthier foods than unhealthy foods or, you know, more whole foods than, and less processed foods might be a better way to say that. We all need sleep. We all need fun, excitement. We all need connection purpose? What's missing for you? Because that's the answer to taking your life to the next level. And once you figure out what that is, what's a routine that you can make every day to shift you towards that place you want to go and who you want to be? I want you to think about that. I'm going to leave. Uh, I've got to wrap things up now. I got something coming up, but I want you to think about that. What is your recipes for success? And what are you currently doing? Is it setting you up to win or are you pushing that boulder up the mountain? And it's just so hard. And every day, it's such a struggle. Figure that out. Have an amazing weekend and speak to you on Monday. And this time, we're going to be talking about why you keep gaining the weight back. So if you've ever been in a place where you got into great shape and you felt like you were in the zone with your health, but all of a sudden, something happens and you start gaining the weight back, the dreaded yo-yo that is talked about so often in the media and by influencers. If you've been let I don't want to say a victim of that, but if that's happened to you and you feel like, what was that magic? What was that strategy that I did? I just got to get back to the paleo diet because it worked so well for me. And what I want to tell you is it didn't work so well for you. 
Otherwise, you wouldn't have gone backwards. So if you feel like you're in this place where you alternate between doing really well and then sliding backwards, this episode is for you. We're gonna talk about why it happens and what you need to get back on track and to stay on track. That's what I wanna leave you with. Love you a lot. Thank you again for listening to the Legendary Life Podcast. We have some amazing episodes coming your way, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're already subscribed and today's episode hit home for you, please share this episode with someone who you know would benefit from listening. Take care and see you every Monday and Friday in your favorite podcast app.